This is Claire and this is Candice and today they're going to handle the same issue from the same customer, Tabitha Ratched. The point of this video is to show you the difference between bad and great customer service and what I want you to do is to notice the difference between the two and then comment down below your observations. Alright, let's begin. Thank you for calling Question. This is Claire. How may I help you today? I still have not received my order. You said I would receive it on the 20th, so the 22nd, still nothing. I don't know what's going on, but if it's not too much of a bother to you, I would really, really now love to get what I paid for. You know what I mean? Okay. You may have the order number and your first name. 498-4977, Tabitha Ratched. Thank you. Let me just check that here. I mean, it's ridiculous. If there's a delay, you could just tell me. It's not like you don't have my email or anything. You didn't notify me at all. If I forgot that I'd ordered it, which by the way happens sometimes, then I'd completely be paying for nothing. One moment, please, while I check your order status. Unbelievable. Are you even listening to me? I am. That's why I'm going to check the status for you, okay? Okay, fine. Thank Go ahead. Thank you. Okay, according to the FedEx note here, your parcel was delivered on the 20th at 10 a.m. and it was left on the front porch according to the notes. What? You're, you're kidding, right? <laughs> okay, okay. First of all, my apartment has no front porch. Second, the only way to deliver parcels in a residence is by leaving them to the concierge. That's it. Third, I was at home the whole day on the 20th, and no one, literally no one, knocked on my door or called my number to notify me of a parcel. So, whatever this FedEx guy is saying, he's lying, okay? He's lying. Have you tried checking with the bu building's concierge to see if they have kept a package for you, or...? I just checked this morning, and the answer is no! There's no parcel! Otherwise, it would have been calling you! How about your neighbors? Have you checked with them to see if they received your parcel? Just, just, just what line of questioning is this? Are you saying that my neighbor stole my parcel? No, 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 no. I'm not saying that. What I'm saying is they might have received your parcel while, while you were away. You're not listening to me. I told you I was in the apartment the entire fucking day. If someone delivered a parcel, the concierge would have received it by now. Second, and I repeat, the only way we receive parcels here is through the concierge. Nothing else. No front porch. No neighbors. Why are you even asking about my neighbors? They have nothing to do with this. And shouldn't you be questioning the fact that FedEx said I have a front porch when I clearly don't? Tabitha, I'm, I'm just doing my job. This is a standard protocol. We have to make sure that the receiver has checked all the possible places that the parcel could have been delivered. I know, so, but do your job right. You're not even trying. I've been spending my time here listening to you and the only thing you're doing so far is asking me dumb questions. Like, what kind of service is this? I just want to get what I paid for. Is, is that so wrong to ask? Please calm down, Tabitha. I'm here to help you. Then help me. And for God's sake, do it well. Jesus Christ. Okay, Tabitha, I, I'm sorry that this happened to you. But oh, yes, I bet you are. Okay, for us to resolve this, I will send you an email. Please reply to that email to confirm in writing that you did not receive the parcel. After that, I'm going to... I'm already talking to you. What do you need me to email you for? I'm, I, I'm, I'm telling you right now, I did not receive my parcel. So do something about it now. It's, it's not that simple, Tabitha. You have to confirm in writing because that's what we're going to show FedEx so they can begin the investigation. So, you know, it, this is necessary to prove that we are not making this all up. Once a claim is filed, we will investigate. And uh, depending on the investigation, it will take seven around seven business days, and then we can refund or replace or find your missing parcel. Well, so I could just file a dispute and get my money back. You know that I'm being nice right now, right? I am contacting you first when I could just have phoned my bank and mark you as fraud in an instant. You know that, right? I wouldn't recommend that as that might poorly reflect on your credit score, especially that it shows delivered you know so the best option i recommend is to let us file a claim on your behalf that's what i recommend <laughs>
<laughs> you know what? With the ridiculousness of the situation, I, I can't even bring myself to be mad anymore. Like, what is the point anyway? You basically have the emotional intelligence of a peanut. So I envy you. That's for sure. Okay, so uh, how would you like to proceed? Well, it's not like I have a choice. Take care of it. Deal with FedEx. I didn't pay you to make me file the claim myself. So. Okay, so after you confirm through email that you did not receive your parcel, I will file a PDNR for you. What's PDNR? It means parcel delivered, not received, and it will take, take, it will take five to seven business days. Okay, what happens if the parcel isn't found? Is a replacement available in your warehouse? I need a replacement for that. I don't want a refund. Um, well, since this is a dropship item, we don't have the item in stock in our warehouse, so I would first have to check with the dropship team for its availability. But yes, I will take note of that. What's a dropship? It means that the item is in another warehouse and we don't have the inventory for it, so we will first coordinate with the supplier. Huh. Uh, you know what? You are making my head spin. So let me get this straight. Seven business days for the investigation. Mm -hmm. And if not found, which is probably the case 99% of the time, you can check with the team if it's available. And then what? Another seven days to deliver the replacement? Yes, correct. Mm hmm. Well, I tried to be nice to you guys, but it seems like you left me no other choice. I will file a dispute and I will never shop from your site again. Tabitha, as much as I would like to help you, this is the best I can do for you. I have to follow the company policy. As I said, we can issue a replacement, but we first have to file a claim. And that will take five to seven business days. If that is too long for you to wait, which, which I understand, uh, I suggest that you place another order with a different shipping address while the investigation is ongoing and we will just refund you for the first parcel. But we first have to wait for the claim. Blah, blah, blah. Just stop, okay? Just stop. I don't care anymore. I hope your company goes bankrupt and that no company will ever hire you again. Your, your attitude has been pretty disgusting, condescending the moment you picked up a phone. And I cannot, cannot for the life of me imagine an employer who would want to hire you for that attitude continue living your miserable life i'm just gonna go ahead and file that dispute bye-bye thank you for calling question this is candace how may i help you i still have not received my order you said i would receive it on the 20th it's on the 22nd still nothing i don't know what's going on but if it's not too much of a bother to you i would really really not love to get what i paid for you know what i mean Oh, if it's beyond the promised delivery date, we definitely need to look into that. May I have your order number and your full name so I can check for you? That's exactly what I'm thinking. Like, I don't understand. What, what's taking so long? Anyway, the um, order number is 498-4977, mm -hmm. and my name is Tabitha Ratched. Thank you, Tabitha. I will now go ahead and pull up your order, and hopefully I can give you an immediate answer. One moment, please. Go ahead. Thank you. Okay, like what she said, the estimated delivery date is on the 20th. It's now 22nd, so it's two days late. Normally, when a parcel is late like this, we send an email informing you of the delay. So let me visit the FedEx website and track it. Thank you, Candace. That would be appreciated. I, um, I actually haven't tried tracking it on the FedEx website since you already gave me the delivery date through email. So yes, please yeah. go ahead. Okay. According to the FedEx note here, your parcel was delivered on the 20th at 10 a.m. It said that it was left on the front porch. Have you tried checking your front porch? What? 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 You're kidding, right? Okay. Okay. First of all, my apartment has no front porch. Second, the only way to deliver parcels in a residence is by leaving them to the concierge. Third, I was at home the whole day on the 20th. And no one, literally no one, knocked on my door or called my number to notify me of a parcel. So whatever this FedEx guy is saying, he's lying. Okay? He's lying. That's, that's definitely odd. Have you tried checking with your building's concierge to see if they have kept a package for you? I just checked this morning and the answer is no. Otherwise, I wouldn't be calling you. Yeah. Your, your neighbors also wouldn't happen to receive it, right? Since, as you said, all parcels go to the concierge. 
correct. And if the note says he left it on my doorstep, again, that's impossible. No one can access our doorsteps here except us tenants. So there's clearly a mistake here. Yes, that, that makes sense. Um, so here's what we're going to do, Tabitha. It is likely that FedEx delivered the order to the wrong address. So I will file a PDNR claim on your behalf. It means parcel delivered, not received. What this does is to let FedEx investigate to find your missing parcel. And after the investigation, we will either refund, replace, or find your missing parcel. Okay. Yeah. And for me to initiate the claim, I will send you an email right now. Please reply to that email confirming that you have not received your parcel. Um, uh, your response to that email is very important because that will serve as, a, as the documentation proving to FedEx that you are requesting for us to file a claim on your behalf. Okay, whatever happens, I'm going to get my refund though, right? You're right, of course. Um, and the sooner they find your parcel, the better. By the way, uh, in the event that the parcel isn't recovered, would you prefer a replacement or a refund? I need a replacement for that. I don't want a refund. Okay, I will make note of that. And after the investigation, which usually takes five to seven business days, I will check with the supplier for its availability. availability. And then they can process the replacement for you. Okay, it's disappointing that this is to happen. But okay, whatever. At least I don't have to file a dispute. To be honest, I was, I was already thinking of calling my bank this morning and filing a dispute. Yes, um, this is definitely not the experience that we want you to have, but... We will try our best uh, to make this as easy as possible for you, considering the situation. I will also keep this case in progress. So whatever questions you might have during the investigation, you just reply to the same email thread and I will be there to answer your questions. So let me get this straight. Seven business days for the investigation. And if it mm -hmm. isn't found, you're going to check with the team if it's available. And if it's available, another seven days to deliver the replacement. Yes, Tabitha, that's correct. But of course, if they find the parcel during the investigation, then you don't need to wait that long. That's already the maximum time frame. Yeah, well, I hope they do, but I, I honestly don't have much hope for it. But okay, a replacement's fine, I guess. Okay, yeah, I, I cannot guarantee that 100% that they would find your missing parcel, but there have been cases in the past when they did find the missing parcel. And I will, of course, update you throughout the process. Okay, so I guess that's my best option. Um, what do you need me to do? Just reply to your email saying that I didn't receive the parcel? That's correct. I have just sent you the email. All right, I will reply in five minutes. I'm going to have my lunch break. What's your name again? Candace. All right, Candace, thank you so much. That's all I need for now. I have to go. Bye. Okay, enjoy your lunch, Tabitha. Thank you for calling Question. Bye. All right, as you can see, this video is purely mock calls. If you want detailed explanations of all the things that Claire did wrong and Candace did right, head over to this video at the top, which will be available on my next upload. All right, I think that's all. That's all for today. <laughs> it's really awkward vlogging outside, but oh well, I gotta get used to it. So thank you for watching. Bye-bye.